Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. And welcome back, Mech Warriors. This is Old Bob 10025. And I wanted to put the task on the clan heroes and see if I actually went to, uh, to lore compared to what they actually have up there. Now, they did a pretty good job, about 87%. Three of them were spot on. The rest were kind of like, eh, they're in the 87% type thing. And then they have one that was like, who in the hell is this type of person? And why, who in the hell did he pilot the mech for? Now, I plan to do the Inner Sphere Clan Heroes as well, too, as far as lore-wise. But uh, bear with me here. And uh, I did, I mean, this is just me just looking up a couple books, um, looking online and everything else. So if they didn't get this right, I just can't believe they have this person who was making up the lore there. So here we go, guys. We'll show you what I'm talking about. First off is the Arctic Cheetah. Everyone loves that a maniacal little tiny mech that's always alive at the end of the game. So Eva e, Eva Horde one, sorry, by I I'm just getting over bronchitis, so basically I don't have a little trouble here. From Clan Ice Halion. So I hope they actually have some some uh, um, decals from the other 16 other clans that are out there, including Clan Wolverine, which is mine. I hope they actually have some other type of ones that are out there, so people can play just uh, more than the standard ones they've ha they have out there now. It'd be a lot, a lot better for the clans, and plus more clan identity make a lot more people happier, but PGI doesn't listen to anybody, so here we go, guys. So, e Evil Hord Hordwin is not a clan name. Uh, I couldn't find anything about this person, couldn't find anything about the clan, uh, about Dark Cheetah, about who, who piloted these, or famous people that did pilot them as well. So, that is the clan, uh, 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 clan Ice Hellion. I don't know where they got this stuff from, so who knows. Okay, next on our list is actually Lucian Carnes, and he is a real person. He is a, um, from Clan Novacat. He is a, definitely a real person. Now, the mechs that he did pilot were actually different because he did pilot a Gargoyle and a Shadow Cat. In 3060, he did pilot a Shadow Cat. So, basically, this guy is real. So, good job, PGI. Uh, un unlike the uh, Arctic Cheetah, but I guess they just had to have something for a famous mech that they had. So, Lucian Carnes is a real person. And to show you who Lucian Carnes is, here he is right here. He, uh, let's see, uh, clan, he's a Sarkon, a Sarkon of Clan Novacat during Clan Invasion era. Let's go down here a little bit. And uh, about a Luthien at least, uh, pilot a Gargoyle Omnimech, apparently at the primary, uh, um, variation. And time is death in 3060, he did pilot Shadowcat. So, he is a hero because he died, I guess. So, there you go. Now, as far as the Ebon Jaguar, I could not find anything on Vesper Beckett, uh, the, uh, from Cloud, uh, Clan Cloud Cobra. Uh, it's probably just a made-up name that they did. Of course, if I'm wrong, let me know, guys. Um, so it is not a blood name. It uh, basically, it's not a person that anyone knows because I looked up Clan Co Clown Clown Cobra, Clan Cloud Cobra. Um, I uh, I looked those up, and it's not actually a clan name, a blood name, or anything else. So this person does not exist, from what I understand. And same thing for the Executioner. Uh, clan Wolf, uh, it's actually not Clan Wolf in Exile, it's not Clan um, Clan Wolf itself, Gorman Becker, he does not exist for what I understand, but it is a blood name, so it is a blood name, so it could be someone that in some other obscure Russian, obscure reference in some book, that might be it, so um, I don't know who this person is, but Gorman Becker, there you go my friend, he is a blood name, so I guess I got that right. The, um, the Mislink, and basically this is a blood name, Summer, uh, Summer, Oasis. Don't know what type of uh, mech because I looked at the mech itself. It's not there. Looked up the uh, um, the clan name and basically o um, Oasis, it, or if I'm saying that wrong, hopefully. It is a blood name. It is a clan smoke jaguar blood name, but uh, in fact all the most of the cons actually had that name. The problem is though, it's not a um, it's not a, a name name unless um, it's in some obscure reference in some book. But I did look that up, and that is not a blood name. Well, I mean, that is not uh, a hero type character somewhere in the universe. And next we go to the Ice Ferret, and basically I couldn't find anything on Carl Devalis, if I pronounce that right from Clan Novacant. Uh, this, but it is a blood name, so basically it could go like either way some pilot reference in some type of book because there was a lot of books that like out there this is just from just doing a little bit of research and basically that person uh, might exist somewhere so uh definitely so uh that uh, good job kudos on them for having actually having a blood name at least next one is for the hellbringer which is joanna it's kind of interesting just you just need to say that name and that's it from cloud jade falcon 
Clan J Falcon did, uh, this person does exist. It is a, not a blood name, but she's pretty famous. So let's go to the famous part here. She is the one that actually killed Natasha Kerensky. So basically this person is the most famous clan member in the inner sphere. She did, um, she actually pilots a Hellbringer, Mad Dog, and a Summoner. Uh, Summoner is when she killed Natasha Kerensky. Mad Dog is preferred by her, but she also has a Hellbringer. So I guess the battle of cost they went for that one. But this person is famous for killing Natasha Kerensky. Um, I forgot exactly when. Uh, it's not in my mind here. I think it's 3053 or something like that. That she did kill him. So basically, famous person from Jade Falcon. They actually got this one right. Joanna from Jade Falcon. And next up, we got Ulrich Kerensky. And yes, they did get this guy completely right. This is like one of the only ones that actually got right from Clan Wolf. And basically, uh, it is obviously a blood name. And coming, I mean, Kerensky, come on. And basically, I'll show you the picture here. And this is Ulrich Kerensky. Yeah. He does exist. And um, yeah, so. They got this one definitely right, a con a clan wolf. And then also, too, if you go all the way down here, he did pilot a gargoyle on the mech during the clan invasion and up to and up to his death, apparently favoring the primary configuration. So all you clan wolf members, you could act like Ulrich Kerensky and get a gargoyle if you guys want to. And last but not least, we got Rasul Howe from Clan Smoke Jaguar, who died in 3079 trying to defend Huntress against the... Um, the new Star League uh, done by Davion and everyone else. So this is actually a real person inside the lore. Let's go to the page here. The page shows. Let's see here. Here we go. So uh, he was killed during uh, um, during the Capital Huntress Task Force Serpent attack. So this is a real person, and he also piloted the Vulture Omnimech. So they got this one right as well, just like um, just like Clan Wolf one of um, here. Lost my mind here. Ulrich Kerensky, geez, I lost my mind there. Uh, same one as as Oric Kerensky as well. These two are and, and Joanna are one of the three best ones, three best examples. So except for Joanna, who actually liked the Mad Dog instead of Summer, which killed, or, or the Hellbringer, which killed the uh, the like Natasha Natasha Kerensky. So these are all those three are one of the best ones. Now the only one that I actually have uh, problems with is the Arctic Cheetah because I couldn't find anything really with that person. No blood name, no anything else, but it just all depends. Uh, if you guys have any information about these people, let me know if I actually got anything wrong. Let me know if I got it right, too. Um, definitely, I really do appreciate you guys like watching. And I want to do the lore aspect of it because, every, you know, the Omnimax, you can change out anything you want to and, and all that kind of stuff. You have Kanashi with the Charmaster. You have Sugustine with a bunch of different other things. You have Large with a bunch of different things, too. I want to get the lore like of, of the game itself if they actually went to lore itself but looks like they did a little bit i'll say probably about an 85 to 87 percent they did the rest is kind of like iffy type stuff going let's try to push it out and go see what we could do that's basically what they did so anyways i do appreciate you guys like watching thank you for watching my youtube my youtube channel and i appreciate it guys definitely you guys have a good night and i'll see you on the battlefield